Once you're ready to create your poster, the first thing you need to do in PowerPoint is set the canvas size, the side of the, the size of the poster. So um, here we're going to select a blank presentation. And now we're going to, this is just one slide here, we're going to select these boxes and hit delete to remove them. And we're going to go to the design tab and over here to slide size and go to custom. And here this will open up this window that will allow you to set the width and the height. Um, the high, highest value uh, would be 56 by 42. That would be the biggest poster size that the CCI would print. It's a very big poster. Um, if you don't think you need quite that big, you could go down to um, 48 by 36. And now click OK. And then it doesn't matter which one you click here because we don't have anything in the box, so I'll just do that. And now our poster size is set. If I go back here and go to custom size, you can see it says it's 48 by 36. And the reason that's important is now you're, that the size of the poster is set, when you enter especially specifically well, uh, images, um, when you will see them on the, on the poster, you'll know that they're going to be printing at the right uh, dimensions and the right size. Also that the text will be appropriately big. Um, when you put that on your poster, if you only do, for example, let's quickly um, insert a text box. If I type some text here, you can see that's 18 point, 18 point. That's really, really small. Um, however, if I go to 72, now that's much bigger. And now that the size of the poster is set, um, the, uh, the text will look the appropriate size on the poster. Uh, so I just showed you here, insert text box. Um, that's one way that you can enter text. Um, you can also use enter shape and for example, use this. And the difference is that the shape will automatically have um, sh filling and a border typically, but you can still type in text. You can see, let me make that bigger. So you can see you can still type in text in the shape. On either of the shape or the text box, you can select format shape by right clicked here to open this up, uh, format shape. And it opens this window here, which gives you a lot of power to change things. Now the first thing here, this is, you can see this is fill line this says effects, we'll kind of skip that for now, and this is position, size, and posi uh, properties, and it's the position where it is on the screen. So first we're here in the shapes option, and we're under fill and line, and if you wanted to say, um, no, I don't want any fill, there, it goes away. If you say you want a um, no line, again, the line will go away, that's harder to see, but let's say you wanted the line to be much thicker, and then we'll do that and we're going to change that to black so that we can see that and you can see now that you can see the actual border around. So this is the place where you would format um, the image that you're, that you're looking at. This part here allows you to mess with the size. Uh, we're not going to do that here. Uh, so the size of the box and also where it is in relationship to uh, the top left corner and the um, in, vertical and horizontal positions. And then some internal properties. So if the text box, if you wanted bigger margins inside, you could set that up here as well. And one other thing to know, insert insert picture. So when you go insert picture, you just go and find the picture that you're looking for, select it, and then insert it. Now, regarding pictures, make sure that the pictures that you're using are uh, high resolution pictures, uh, screen captures from the web, or, um, or just kind of downloading, uh, copying a, a, a picture from the web is not a good idea. Uh, there are plenty of free sites. For example, pixelb.com is a site, um, or even Flickr has options where you can download uh, free images. Make sure that you download an image that, of high resolution so that when you put it on your poster and you make it bigger, um, that it will not pixelate. The last thing I'll show you in this video is that you can set the background color. So I'm going to go here. I went to the design tab, 
and then hit background color and let's say you've decided that you want a background color you want a solid color you can come here and pick color and now you have a background color 